I'm, I'm fine, thanks. That's good. Um, congratulations um, on Bring It On. Oh, thank, thank you. Yeah, you... Um, yeah, sorry, I'm, got, I'm getting a very weak uh, weak reception here. Okay, I'll, I'll shout into the microphone. How's that? Okay. Is that better? Yeah, that's, that's a bit better, yeah. Good, good, good. Um, first off, um, so very interesting. I've, I've had the uh, disc for about a week now, and um, I've been playing it re repeatedly. Um, and then going back to um, how the band came together um, is very interesting. Um, you you went through a lot of styles and phases in getting to the point of uh, of what people will hear um, on Bring It On. Was, was that... Um, yeah, what was the deciding factor on settling where you did with the sound that you now have? I don't know. I mean, it's in, well, in terms of you mean the styles that, that in the bands that we played in before. Or? Well, yes. I mean, obviously, all of all of that building up to to what Gomez is uh, today. Um, hold on a second. I'm, I'm having real problems here. I'm just going to have to ask someone to do. Okay. Sorry about that. No problem. Yeah, I think it's 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 um yeah in terms in terms of different styles and like that, I think it's uh, I don't know it's just that it, it, the determin I don't know quite what the determining facts are but I mean we all listen to lots of you know different sorts of music mm -hmm. things like that and we all bring our own kind of perspective to the band because we all write and, um, I I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, it's, it's just a, a matter of kind of jamming. Mm, like mm, mm, mm. And, uh, mm, mm. Was it, you know, was it, um, was it an easy, you know, I mean, did with, with the guys, you know, with all of you getting together, was it easy to actually come up with, uh, you know, um, with the sound that you now have on the album because you've got such disparate. Um, yeah, um, yeah. I think I think that's got a lot a lot to do with it. Mm. diversity of the music we listen to. Mm. As, well, as, as well, I mean, as well as by accident, as well, I think, oh, this just happened by accident. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, that's just what we sound like, you know, in the room or whatever, mm. when we play. Mm -hmm. It's kind of captured. Right, right. Because, I mean, your your roots um, being obviously, you know, from the UK, um, I mean, you have to admit that your sound is not typically, um, was not typical of, of the UK in a, in a traditional sense. Um, no. You know, was it difficult for you to sort of win fans initially over, or or were they captured from from the beginning? Well, I don't, uh, I'm not sure if we got like fans <laughs> big yet, you know, because we just, we've just released. The, I mean, apart from like our friends, and, you know, sure. various people in the industry. And, but yeah, I mean, a lot a lot of people seem to, uh, I don't know, mm. you know, have got have got into it, and um, and I don't know, I think it's really quite kind of welcoming music in a way. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. you you have signed to Hat, obviously, um, but um, as I say, reading up that there were something like twenty labels that were interested in signing the band. Um, yeah. What made you settle on Hat? Well, we did we did um, a whole kind of showcase thing, um, which was the, which we were based in Sheffield, and we did a we did. We were basically doing showcases for all these labels, and we were seeing, we were seeing like you know, a couple of people every day. And um, Dave Boyd from Hook came in, and he, I mean, we just had like kind of, he, he seemed to understand where we were coming from, and, and you know, we met people at the label, and they, which was, was quite a nice kind of unit, nice, it's a very nice place to be. Mm -hmm. but, and um, yeah, it was just a matter of kind of, I think, understanding about, about the music and. Yeah, that's pretty. And, and plus, of course, they, you know they're a very kind of hit label at the moment. Mm -hmm. the verb, and, you know, they have the verb and placebo. And yeah, it, it just felt right to go with her. Mm -hmm. And uh, are are you sort of happy where you are now? At the point where you know you've got the album, it's ready for release. Has everything gone to to plan as the way that you had perhaps anticipated it? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, and great. It's been really good. It's on there. No complaints. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Um, so going back to the album, obviously, um, I, the first thing that actually hit me when um, in, in listening to the album is that um, the way in which you structured the tracks, um, 
you don't um the album doesn't open with a you know with a with say the first three tracks definitely are very um very sparse very um laid back tracks whereas only later in yeah. the album do you you know you pick the mood up which is again another sort of non-typical route to go normally you know it's a case of get in you know convince them and then wind it down towards the end yeah was I think that, we just uh, I think given the nature of the music it kind of works to uh, ease people into it if you know what I mean I mean it's, yeah. I don't think it's really a conscious thing we just we just felt that that was the way the tracks um well, well, you know, when we're actually uh, working out the ordering of the tracks, mm. I think that that was just the way the tracks kind of sounded best together, you know, mm. as a as an album, mm. you know, as whatever as a statement, whatever. And um, but yeah, I think I think that that ordering also kind of works to to ease people into the sound. Mm. Very much so. You know, kind of kind of steadily and steadily build and build. You know. mm. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, what, what I think what actually ties the tracks all together is that each track, no matter, um, even used to say the, the sparser tracks, there there is a there is a, a very definite groove, um, throughout yeah, yeah, each track. Yeah, yeah, rhythm. Mm. Rhythm's got a lot to do with, mm. you know, with what we do. We're very good drummer in art. It's mm. fantastic. Mm. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, we're all pretty much rhythm-based players as well. Right. Which is. Um, Now, now you've chosen to produce um, this album. Was there any particular reason why? Well, a lot, a lot of what you hear on the album is actually taken directly from um, the four, four track demos with which we got signed with. Mm-hmm. Gee, okay. Particularly the first, I think the, the first, the first three. Right. They are taken pretty much directly, and, and the rest are kind of built on, you know, in part built on the four track tapes. Right, right, right. From, and and then there's a, there's a few songs that have uh, we've done um, just in the studio, and it's a, I mean that that kind of helps the diversity of the sound of the album as well. I think the mm. fact that um, the sources of these tracks, mm. you know, are all kind of quite varied as well. Mm. So mm. It, it gives you kind of a more interesting kind of sonic landscape or whatever. Mm. <laughs> but, um, mm. Mm. Yeah, you got to get. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, the re- yeah, so the reason why it's produced I thought is just, um, just we, you know, we know the way our music wants to sound, and you know, I think it'd be, and the way we work as well is very kind of hands-on. Right. I mean, Ian, Ian in particular is owned a for, for um, I think, ever since he was 18. Mm-hmm. So he's very hands-on with the recording and um, recording stuff, and um, yeah, it's just, uh, um, I think we know how we want to sound, you know, we've got an idea of, you know, Mikey stuff like that and mm, mm, mm. didn't really feel the need for a producer I mean we may try one out you know, mm. in the future but just for this because because I mean so much of it was based on four track recordings already mm, that we, mm. we had an idea how we were going to we didn't mm. really feel the need mm, mm, mm. so you as I say I mean working on you know working off a four track obviously uh, these these tracks were um, you know were probably well were they recorded uh, live yeah, some some of the backing tracks were recorded live, on the, and then like you know maybe a guitar added over the top, or you know what I, I mean. The, the first track at Miles was pretty much all live, apart from the vocals and, mm. and a bit of percussion. Mm. Mm. But yeah, most mostly it's worked like that. The basic track, the drums, drums, bass, and guitar, mm. are put down live, and then things you know just added over the top. Mm. 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 Now, it's, it's, I mean, sorry. it's nicer that way. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, absolutely. I mean, I think that is uh, probably one of the um, one of the probably core essences of what of what you're doing is that um, it's it's that groove that um, you know. Yeah. No, no matter where you are in the album, um, as I say, there's no real implicit order in which you have to listen to the tracks in order for it to work. No. no. Right. 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 And as I say, in, in putting the band together. Um, were, you know, were you aware? I mean, obviously, you were looking to to sign a deal with a label. Um, so well, we weren't really. I mean, oh, this okay. is the weird thing. Um, okay. the start, I mean, we we've only been together about a year now, really, in this lineup. And uh, the the other four guys are from Southport, mm. and they they'd um, 
they just get together and record stuff every so often. And uh, it, it was really just mates recording and, and you know having fun with music. And I, I joined. I'm at A and at Sheffield University. Mm-hmm. I joined like around this time last year. Mm-hmm. But we weren't. I don't. I mean, obviously we, did, I mean, we thought what we had was good and stuff. Mm-hmm. But we weren't really looking to get signed. We didn't. You know, we didn't have any ideas whether it was good or whether. You know. Okay. I don't know. So anyway, we gave we gave um, the the tape to uh, right in. Ian had a friend who worked in a record shop. Okay. He, you know, he'd gone in there a lot. And, uh, and it turns out he really liked it and he had um, connections like, within within the industry and just kind of handed this tape around and eventually kind of uh, the interest grew and grew until you know, we got to this position where it could be signed. But originally we didn't really you know, think, mm. think about it. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. <laughs> <laughs> a record deal or anything like that. But here we are. <laughs> you know. And you're not complaining, I'm sure. Oh, not at all. <laughs> well, I mean, that's actually a, a, a great place to be because then obviously everything that you've created is um, is around the way you've wanted it and you haven't sort of been painted. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. because, I mean, it's very... I mean, the music is very different, you know, mm. in the current, um, current market. I mean, people make comparisons with back and things like that, yeah. but I don't, I don't really see it that mm. much, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's, there's certain kind of elements of the way we make music, you know, not, mm. not kind of the sound of the music itself that are probably common to what that does, but mm. I don't see the sound as being much like that at all. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, there, there wasn't an obvious uh, attempt on your part to, to try and do something completely different in order to get people to sort of look up and pay attention. This was just oh, the no, way no, you no, sounded, no, yeah. Not at all, no. I mean, that's, that's the way we play. You know? Yeah. Like we, I mean, if we, if we played any, any other way, then that would be... So, you know, mm. so, yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of, when, when we all sit down together with guitars, that's what we come out with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and, and what would you say, you know, as I say, we, you know, mentioned the groove and sound, but, but what would you say is uh, Gomez's most sort of unique characteristic sort of musically that sort of set you apart from, from you know, what else is happening out there? Um, I don't know. I mean, there's. I think it's. I mean, we we like rhythm and melody are probably you know quite quite strong in both of those. And, we, and I think probably the you know post along with that, I think the fact that there's there's kind of five of us and we all have something to contribute to music. You know, it's not a situation where we've got one guy just sitting in a room writing songs all day mm. or whatever, mm. and then come in come into the band with a tune. It's like. You know, it's kind of a more like an ensemble kind of vibe. You know, mm. kind of um, chips in or whatever. Mm. You know, mm. Gives that particular slant to the track. So you never, you know, I mean, you know, there are occasions when someone will write a song and bring the song, but but then you know, the, the song gets kind of uh, it changes a lot. You know, once once sort of people kind of get involved and put their put their kind of creative touch onto it. Mm. So I think that's that's probably the main strength of the kind of five mm, mm, creative individuals mm, you know, which, mm, which all have some contribute to, to the music mm, 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 mm. And, and when you sort of look at what's a, sort of in the charts at the moment and, and, and I mean obviously I would say it's probably the UK and Europe and I mean even as far as America and then you look at Gomez um, sort of do you, do you do you sort of see a uh, do you see yourself sort of uh, slipping into into a chart position quite easily, um, you know, based on on what you're delivering, especially say with the first single, seventy eight Stone Wobble. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to think about, you know, that yes. kind of thing. Yes. But you have to I now. Yes. Yeah, we have to now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really know. I mean, it's just hopefully people, the people that buy it will like it. You know, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but um, as as, you know, as long as some people buy it, and we can keep doing it. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Um, and and sort of in in putting the tracks together, uh, you know, would you say that you're appealing to any 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 specific kind of audience, or are you just putting it out there and and seeing who actually, uh, you know, uh, embraces what you're doing? Yeah. I mean, it's just a matter of that. You know, just put seeing seeing who likes it. I think. Like I mean, like, like I said before, I think it's not. I don't think there's any kind of 
you know, barriers mm. set up by the music, like, you know, you can tend to, I mean, there's some music that, you know, very definitely appeal, will appeal to young people, mm. or whatever, you know, mm. teenagers, and there's mm. some music, which definitely, you know, would appeal to, to older people or whatever, you know, mm. or, or is presented in that way. But, I, I mean, I think the way we approach listening to music is reflected in, in, um, in the music that we, that we kind of, uh, you know, make. Mm. Which is that you know we don't we don't um, care if if uh, you know the, the music is associated with you know mm. an older listening audience as long as it's good. Mm. Mm. Uh, so that's I mean we're not really aiming to. to I mean I, I think that kind of trans, transfers into the music as well because we're not really aiming to you know just make music for a young audience or just make music for an older audience mm. or whatever. Mm. It's just you know it's just music. Hopefully everyone will like it. Mm. 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 And how, how much material did you actually have? Um, to the point of signing with with Hat and recording the album, did you did you have a lot of tracks to choose from? Oh yeah, yeah, we have we, we've got loads. we've got too many songs. <laughs> That's problem at the moment. We've got I think I mean, we could, we could go and record the second album now. I mean we've got enough really to do that. Mm. But, um, mm. Hopefully, you know, some better ones will come on or whatever. Mm. Mm. So we, we're constantly kind of playing around with ideas and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. And and when you when you look at the sort of album as a whole, and obviously as you say, the band um, in its current state has been together for a year. Um, you know, do do you sort of see it going in any particular direction? Um, as you know, as far as tracks are concerned on the album, that you'd say that a, a certain track is um, sort of um, an indication of where you would like to see it go. You know. No, I, mean, I think I think you know one of the. the saying before about strengths, one of the strengths is the variety, mm. you know, of the music, mm. and I wouldn't like to, you know, kind of consciously try and, and you know, make the music go and force the music into any one direction, mm. you know what I mean? I mean, mm. if it naturally, if it naturally went there, mm. you know, through all of us playing together or whatever, if it, you know, we ended up writing mm. a particular type of song, you know, which it, Know, instantly identifiable or whatever style. Mm. Then, I mean, that's fair enough, but I don't think we want to force it into any direction because that's, you know, that's not the way we work. Mm. 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 It's more of a, uh, you know, again, a kind of collective thing. Yeah, yeah. And 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 the the whole sort of, uh, to say, putting an album out, does it, uh, you know, it, is it an odd place to be that you know, I have to say, you've been playing around with this stuff and and now it's being pushed out to to Joe Public and uh, as I say people like myself are now coming back and telling you how, how they interpret it is it is it, uh, is it, a, is it a, a good place to be or or not oh it's great mm. <laughs> it's really good it's mm. really kind of interesting mm. <laughs> people make of it yeah especially when we get good feedback I mean that's that's a good thing we've got a lot of good feedback so it's kind of it's nice it? yes <laughs> yeah and, and you are in one of the most sort of uh Difficult territories in the world, as far as the press are concerned, because if they don't like you, they definitely let you know about it. Yeah, I mean, they seem to be on our side at the moment, which is good. I think mm. yeah, that's, that's okay. Mm-hmm. And then, are you going to be? Uh, are you obviously going to um, hit the road and take and and uh, you know, in promotion of the album, are you going to be targeting sort of? Yeah, we've got it. We've got. I mean, just just an English tour coming up um, in well, in Scotland we're doing we're doing Glasgow as well. In, the twenty second, I think it starts off. Mm. Just fairly soon, a couple of weeks away. Okay. And uh, yeah, we we just actually finished doing a few gigs. Okay. Just kind of for the single to get our traps together. Mm. And uh, yeah, we're going to. Uh, so yeah, we're going on the road mm-hmm. um, on the twenty second, and then we're doing a few festivals um, around the, like Glastonbury and mm. stuff like that. Mm. Mm. And yeah, so yeah, we're going to be. Mm. So this is the beginning of the of the great adventure. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> and and hopefully in the process, um, it it won't. You know, no part of the um, of, of the music scene will 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 tarnish what you're doing here. Because I mean, as I say, this is quite a, a precious piece of work. Um, as yeah. I say, now you now the world is 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 looking at you. So you know, you become painfully aware that uh, you know it's not just five guys anymore. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. I mean, we just—I think we're on that. We're just gonna have to really see how it goes. Yeah, 
manager. Yeah. <laughs> just keep your manager. It's going to be hard to very interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it, should, it should be good fun, if nothing else. Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Well, great. Thanks very much for your time. I know you've probably got a schedule longer than my arm. But um, congratulations um, on the album. It's, um, I must admit, um, the well, um, Virgin in South Africa um, gave me a call a couple of weeks ago saying, I've got to hear this. This is so exciting. And, you know, um, through all these references around us, unfortunately, the industry does do. Um, and yeah. I actually ignored that and put it on. And uh, it's, uh, as I say, it is probably one of the most refreshing albums I've heard in a, in a in, in quite a while. So, you know, uh, all the very best to you. Okay. Lovely. Thanks okay. again. You yeah, have a you too, and, yeah. uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, you have a good weekend. Yeah, you too. Man. Thanks, man. Okay. Bye now. See you. Bye. Cheers. Cheers.